Let's take a look at how to show a model's annotations as part of model-based definition. And just like with 2D production drawings, if your model already has dimensions that you want to use, you can display them rather than having to create the dimensions manually. I've got a part open here, and right now I'm on the default all combination state. Let me go to the five datums combination state, and I can see that we have our A datum, our B datum with the dimension, and our C datum with a geometric tolerance. And I note that this one has a dimension, and I might want to add it to another combination state later on. So now that I'm familiar with my datums, I'm going to create my combination states for my additional annotations that I'm going to show. To do that, I can click on the Annotate tab, and on the left in the Combination States group, we can click the New button, and now I've got my new tab created. I can right-click on it and choose Rename, and I like to follow the MIL Standard 31000 schema of having the part annotations on a combination state that starts with number seven and then has different numbers on them. And you'll notice when I went over to 7A, the five datums annotations are no longer displayed. I have a blank slate. And that's kind of the point of having these different combination states. We want to avoid the bowl of spaghetti look where we have all our different annotations on top of each other. So we use our different combination states to organize them. And before I start showing annotations, I'm going to think about my plan for how I want to display them. And I noted that this surface here is my A datum. In that case, maybe for 7A, I want to concentrate on the datums for the front face. And then taking a look, you know, maybe for the dimensions on the bottom surface, some of these tabs I would have in 7B. In 7C, I could go into some of the different dim dimensions for uh, the minor feature. So that's my initial plan of attack. And one other thing that I like to do when I'm planning this out is just walk through the model tree and edit dimensions in order to see what different dimensions I have in here. So starting with the first protrusion, all right, I can see that there's this four dimension, then we have this 1.5 dimension for this feature. I think that one I'd probably throw in 7C. This one I'd probably throw in 7B. Let's go to the next feature. And all right, here's a dimension, and there's another dimension I might want to have in 7A. This two dimension I want might want to have in 7B. Here we have a shell feature. I know that's a thickness. Let's take a look. Okay, this protrusion has a dimension, a few dimensions for the tabs over here. Uh, maybe I want that in one of the minor, like 7C, 7D combination states. Here we have a hole. Yeah, maybe I'll put that in 7C or 7D as well. So again, I'm just coming up with a plan for how I want to organize this and make this easy to use. And now that I've selected those different ones, let's orient to how I want 7A to appear on the computer screen. I'm just adjusting the view. And before I start showing the model annotations, let's go to the view manager to capture this. I'm on the orient tab. Let's click the new button. And I'm going to call this 7A, just like the name of the combination state. Then I can go to the All tab, and I'm going to redefine 7A to make sure that it uses that saved orientation that I just created. So this is good. Now I'm ready to show model annotations. And you can start off by selecting a feature. I believe this is the feature that had a few of the different annotations. And then click Show Annotations. That's one way that you can do it. And I can see it's got this 2.76 dimension. I like that one, so I can select it, and it gets checked in here. Also, if you hover your mouse over the different dimensions, you can see which ones they are. And I can say, hey, you know what? This one I want to show, and I can hover over here and check the box. And so those are the two different dimensions that I want to display in 7A. So let's click the OK button, and I've got them on there. And they're right in the middle of our geometry. Generally, you want them on a front face. So I can click on one of these, and then right mouse click and hold, and from the pop-up menu choose Move to Plane, and pick this front surface. And you'll notice that we get some 
extension lines to show what they refer to, its original geometry. And same for this dimension, right click and hold, move to plane, and pick this surface over here. And then I can click on it and adjust it, and you'll notice that it snaps to the middle point. And maybe for this one, let's choose to flip the text to the other side and just start making it, you know, just kind of nice and pretty. So that's good for my first two on 7A. And if you recall, if I go back to five datums, here we have this one with the other dimension that uh, we would want to display in there. So I can select the dimension and it brings up the dimensions tab and the format tab. But really I want to be on the annotate tab and choose assign to states and pick 7A as where this should go. And now when I hop back over to 7A, there it is displayed on there with the other two annotations. And besides selecting features and then clicking on show annotations, you can go the other way. You can go to show annotations and then pick a feature. And I can say, hey, you know what? Yep, this two dimension I want displayed in here. So then let's click OK and then grab the dimension and reposition it. And yeah, that looks pretty good. And make sure that, there we go. I clicked on 7A, just go back to the saved view. And that way I have a bunch of the different dimensions on here. Before I move off to create 7B, I want to mention how to change the text height. And what I first will do is I'll select one of these and right click and go to text style. And right now it's using a default height and looks like 0 0.07 and some change. And maybe I want this to be a little bit bigger. Let's cancel out of here. To change the text height that's being used, you can go to your model properties dialog box, which you get to from file, prepare, model properties. But this is a command that I use so often that I have it in my quick access toolbar. And I recommend that you put it in your quick access toolbar as well. So I click on Model Properties, and we scroll down here. It's down at the bottom we have Detail Options. You can click the blue Change hyperlink, and here we get the dialog box, and Text Height uses this value of Calculated, but rather than Calculated, I can change the value here, and I want it to be that .1 to be a little bigger, and Apply and Close and then close out of here. And you might have noticed that the, there was a little bit of a, a, a shift on the screen as they got a little bit bigger and a little more readable. So that is good. Now let's create our new combination state. And again, I can right click on it and choose rename. And this one I'm gonna call 7B. And I'd wanted to look at the bottom side of the model, maybe in an orientation like so. And I always like to go to the view manager and capture my orientation right at the beginning so I don't forget. And again, I'll call this one 7B. And let's go to the All tab. And from here, I can redefine 7B to use the saved view that I just created. So that's good. Let's click the OK button and close out of here. and. I remember that this first feature had some dimensions that I wanted, so I can show annotations. And I want this four dimension over here. Let's click Apply. And then let's pick, you know, maybe, what was the other one? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's save that for 7C. Let's see, whole, yeah, let's save that for 7C. I'm looking at for that one, two dimension. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Here is the two dimension that I want to show and I can click OK. And so now I've got two different dimensions displayed on here. Again, I can grab this. As I'm dragging it, it'll snap to the midpoint. And I take a look at this four dimension, and it's not oriented the way that I want it to be. So first off, let's drag it so it's off of the model geometry. Again, it's very highly recommended that you don't have the dimension displayed in the combination state on top of geometry for clarity. And I can select this dimension, right mouse, click and hold, and choose Change Orientation. And right now the text rotation is 90. Let's see what zero would look like. Nope, that's wrong. Let's try changing this to 180. 
yep, that's the way that I want it to appear. So I can click OK. And I just noticed that my tolerance display is turned off. So let's go to File, Options, and then Configuration Editor. And I'm going to see if I have this in my config.profile, which I thought I did. And here we have tall display. For some reason, it is set to no. I am going to add it to my favorites so that way I can easily go to favorites and turn on tall display and click OK. And I'll save it at some other point. And now I can select my different dimensions. And for the tolerance, let's change this to have be a basic dimension. And this dimension as well, we can go to the tolerance drop down and change it to a basic dimension. So that is good for 7B. And I'm going to create one more and it's going to show the details for some of those different tabs in here. So let's go to New. And I'm going to call this 7C. And I'm not sure at the moment what orientation that I want to use for it. So let's try some show model annotations and pick the different features. And let me see maybe this one over here. No, but not the show. I didn't want the show. Here we go. I see that I want this dimension. and this hole as well. So I've got those two different dimensions on here and again we can adjust them and I can select the dimension and for the tolerance maybe I want that to change that to nominal and here we have this dimension as well. Let's go and drag it out and just like before maybe I want that to be nominal and again, change the orientation of this particular dimension. We try 180 degrees. That's good. And like before, right click on it, move to plane, and move it to this surface over here. And this dimension right now is overlapping on geometry. So in this way, I can start detailing the different features. Maybe I wanted to concentrate on this particular tab for 7C. In this way, I've organized my different annotations that I've shown in here with my different combination states. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.